Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Title Tuesdays. My name's Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO of Independence Title, also known as your Title King. Today's how-to episode is gonna be how to navigate through the inspection period and you as the buyer, your right to cancel a purchase and sale agreement. Again, as with other videos where we're talking about legal advice, we're not giving you legal advice. And I'm gonna give you a little insight on the contract, which has been in place for quite some time and mistakes that most realtors make. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read a section of the contract that talks about the inspection period. And then we're gonna discuss it a little bit and tell you how you can add certain type of verbiage to your addendums to make sure that some matters are covered for your buyer. So in the contract, it specifically states that unless the buyer exercises the right to terminate granted herein, buyer accepts the physical condition of the property and any violation of governmental, building, environmental, and safety codes, restrictions, or requirements, but subject to the seller's continuing as is maintenance requirement. And the buyer shall be responsible for any and all repairs and improvements required by buyer's lender. This is very important. When it talks about matters that are not covered in the governmental stuff, this is talking about permits and code matters. So if your title company orders a lien search that even the day they receive the contract, that search can sometimes take a maximum of three weeks to be received. So if you don't realize that you need to exclude these items from the inspection period, if your inspection period is five days, 10 days, or as standard in the contract, 15 days if left blank, you could find yourself with a buyer in jeopardy of losing their deposit for failure to bring up lien search issues within the inspection period. So what I'm telling you is at the bottom, we're gonna give you the text that one of our attorneys has sent to us that needs to appear in all the contracts to protect the buyer's best interest. And all this is really saying is that these governmental issues like permits and code issues, it may take a certain amount of time for that search to come in. So if in 25 days we pull up an issue where there's a code enforcement issue on the property or a uh, permit issue expired or open permit on the property, the seller will now have to correct these issues. Unless of course you know those items are not being covered. But in your standard purchase and sale contract, the inspection period for many years did not contain that type of language, and now it does. So I'm gonna to read to you what it says, and then you're gonna be able to follow along down below and on the screen, and this way you know what addendum you can add to your contract that a lot of realtors while I'm seeing are using now to protect your buyer's best interest. So it says, items covering for lien searches. If the buyer discovers at any time prior to closing any open permits or expired permits or improvements in which permits were required but not previously obtained or any governmental code or any matters provided for by chapter 159 Florida statutes or HOA violations, the seller shall remedy these matters at the seller's cost and expense prior to closing. So what does that mean? That means that if you're into a purchase and sale contract as a buyer, your title company should be pulling a lien search and raising issues as soon as possible. But the real situation is that sometimes a lien search could take 10 days or 15 days to come in, sometimes more depending on the municipality. So you wanna make sure that your buyers are protected. So when you're entering into a purchase and sale agreement, remember, add this clause down into the additional section to make sure that permit matters and lien search matters will be covered by the seller should they arise even after the inspection period. So that's my how-to video today. Don't forget to subscribe below. We look forward to having you watch our newsletter every single week. The only way you can get notification is by clicking the red subscribe button below. Thank you for watching this video and we look forward to seeing you at the next closing table. Have a great day.